Good Monday morning to you. It is January 30th and welcome to our series of short little videos, uh, about five minutes apiece, to um, not only to uh, give you a jump start in the morning, but to motivate you to declutter your space and streamline your thoughts so that you can be that profitably productive person that you know that you can and want to be who am I? I am Kitty Andrews with DeclutterTheBrain.com, and that is precisely what I help people to do. And I have a freebie for you at the end at the end of this video, so stay tuned. This week we are talking about uh, ask me anything. What do I mean by that? That's yeah. Uh, I mean it's a series of the most popular decluttering questions that people ask me and and come and come to me and say solve this won't you please help me to solve this so work with me to solve this so uh, today we are uh, and these are all real case studies that we're going to be looking at this week so I hope you enjoy it as much as I've enjoyed compiling it all right now uh, our first story we begin with Nan now Nan Oh dear, she had a she had a large house, and uh, um, it, a, a death in the family. And but she didn't want to, uh, she didn't want to move. You know, was she over fifty? Yes, yes, she was. Still is, as a matter of fact. And she, uh, she wasn't ready to downsize, right size to a smaller place. But she said, I just don't know what to do with all this stuff. She wants to stay in her home, but it's just gotten overloaded with living there. You know, after 30 years, you start to accumulate stuff, don't you? Right. Okay. So she said, where do I start? Every room was cluttered. And I felt so, so badly for the poor, poor woman because I can relate. Can you relate? Yeah. Where every room is, you don't know where to start. So I said to her, Nan, what's the first place that pops in your head that bugs you the most? And she said, the dining room, without missing a beat, she said, at the dining room table. I said, great, that's what we're going to start with. Now, this sounds really, really simple, but if you have difficulty, if you, if you like me, have difficulty making decisions sometimes, you, you know, and you think, I'll start over here, no, I'll start over there, and then, uh, tell with it, I'm going to go for lunch and we'll do it tomorrow, then this strategy could work for you. Basically, your instinct can take over and it's a good instinct. Believe it or not, you, you can trust your instincts to point you in the right direction. Now, uh, Nan's dining room table was, she, she hadn't eaten, eaten at it in months. Uh, she cleared it off one time for the previous Christmas dinner, and that was <laughs> eight months ago. Okay, so she hadn't eaten there, and she missed that. And her it, obviously, this was bothering her uh, just a titch every day, subconsciously. So her subconscious said, Go ahead, do the dining room table, have a place to eat and relax properly rather than in front of the TV. Can you relate? Mm -hmm. So that is what she did. And the second, well, the second part of this is don't second guess yourself. Once you have started on your version of the dining room table, whatever that is, uh, whatever you choose, whatever your subconscious tells you to choose, just stick with it. Don't get sidetracked. Don't second guess yourself. Trust your instincts. That's the takeaway for today. Trust your instincts and they will guide you in the right direction. Pick one horse and ride it. All right. Until tomorrow when we talk about gonna take a sentimental journey. Uh, actually, the title of today was, Where Do I Begin? So we're on a bit of a musical theme this week. And if you are watching on social and you would like to learn a little bit more about what we do at Declutter the Brain, start to jumpstart your journey now and download your seven easy steps to conquer your physical and mental clutter. And while you're there, you can book a quick and free call with me to, uh, and I'll gift you with a jumpstart plan for right now results. If you're watching this on the uh, via the newsletter and you would like another copy of our seven easy steps, just send me a direct message or email me and we'll get you set, hooked up. 
All right. Thank you so much for watching and we'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye for now.